open Photoshop elements then click file open click on the bitmap file and click open next the file is going to be saved under a different file name so that the uh, original will not be overwritten so click file save us and I'm going to change the name I'm going to add mask on it click save change the uh, quality to high and click OK next I'm going to enlarge the size of the canvas to the size of the printer paper so that the mask will cover the majority of the uh, page so click image resize click canvas change that to 11 and the uh, height to 8.5 click OK you notice the size of the canvas is much larger than it used to be now if you notice the layer is named background and it's also locked to unlock that double click on that layer and I'm going to rename that to image click OK next I'm going to duplicate that layer that we're going to be needing to make the mask so right click on it click duplicate I'm going to rename that to mask click OK so now we got two layers one image and one mask next I'm going to be changing the mask layer to make an actual mask so click on the magic wand change the tolerance to 10 pixels so when I click the wand on the background it will catch the majority of the white background click on it and then click select click similar so now all the uh, white background inside the image are selected also next I'm going to inverse the selection so that I can enlarge the selection to add tolerance for misalignment so I'm going to click select inverse okay now selection is on the image so I'm going to click select again modify expand and I'm going to add five pixels okay the selection now is larger next I'm going to press delete to remove the image part <laughs> if you notice the mask has got the uh, image part transparent and the background is still white next I'm gonna inverse the image again so I can fill the background with black color 
So select inverse, edit, fill. Now, uh, if this wasn't black, you need to select it. You know, you click on the drop down menu and click black. Otherwise, just leave it as it is and click OK. And now we have the mask created. If you notice around the image, there is a white outline. That is the tolerance that I added. So when you press the two papers, you eliminate the uh, clipping error due to misalignment. Notice also that the mask layer and the layer dialog box has changed to black and the image part is transparent. And finally, Save the file. And it's going to be a Photoshop format. Or you can change that to any format you want. Click Save. 